This is exactly how you pick your niche for your digital marketing agency or social media marketing agency. What's up everybody, my name is Jordan and for those of you that are new to my channel, this channel is all about passing my knowledge, mistakes, and experience back to you guys so that you can grow your own um, six-figure agency. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Jordan Lee, and I've been able to build a six-figure uh, agency all from my bedroom without any experience. I built this all the way up from scratch. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you want to grow your digital marketing agency. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, um, you know, I get this, I get asked this question all the time, Jordan, uh, guys, Jordan, how do I pick a niche? What is the best niche? What niche should I go after? Um, I'm new to this agency stuff. I don't know what niche to go after. I don't have experience. Look, guys, I get it, man. These are all the objections and stuff. All these things are slowing you down, right? All these thinking um, thoughts are slowing you guys down. And this is preventing you from really building and growing your agency because you can't even get over the initial hump of getting started because figuring out this niche stuff is holding you back, right? So when you're first starting out, guys, you're going to have this question. And so I, this is why I really wanted to create this video to help you guys move forward. And so for those of you who feel like you don't know what niche to choose or to pick from, or maybe you already chose a niche, but you don't, it doesn't seem like you really like this niche and you kind of want to pick another niche that's more popular, get more clients or whatever it is. Um, this video is going to help you guys. So, um, when you're first starting out, right, obviously I, I started from scratch, zero knowledge. So I had to pick a niche. Right? I had no idea what niche I was going to go after because, I, number one, I didn't even know anything about digital marketing. Um, so I thought to myself, all right, well, maybe I should go for you know the pet grooming business, right? Because who doesn't? I figured it would be easy um, to run ads for a pet grooming business because people enjoy seeing you know cute little pets and dogs and cats and stuff like that. I figured it would be easy to do that. So what I did was I started, I, that was the niche, right? That was the first niche I was going to go after, right? Um, so I, I, I searched up pet grooming businesses on Facebook, uh, found their business page. I reached out, um, you know, to, 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 I audited their page and stuff like that. Uh, tried to get in contact with the business owners. And I quickly found out that pet, most pet grooming businesses can't really afford, um, they don't really have a marketing budget, especially when it comes to paying your um, marketing fees, your $1,000, $1,500 to $2,000 management fees, and then an extra you know, $500 to $1,500 in ad spend. Like most pet grooming businesses aren't willing to spend that unless they know they 100% they're going to get a return on an investment. Even then, I don't even know if they're going to have um, the budget for that or the money to be able to do that, right? So number one, that was my first lesson learned, right? Go after a niche um, that can afford marketing and has a marketing budget, right? You don't want to be going after these low ticket uh, clients and stuff like that. Hang on, let me turn on my AC. All right, guys, so you don't want to be going after, you know, people that don't have a marketing budget um, and clients, their clientele is worth, you know, $20 or $50, right? You want to be getting, going after niches that has high customer value. Meaning if you bring in one client, then that's worth, you know, thousands of dollars to their client. Now that's, that's, that's me. Now that's, those are, I, I like to go after affluent niches. Um, now I'm not saying that you can't go after, you know, gym owners, restaurants and, um, you know, hair salons and stuff those are still great for for um great niches but you're not going to be able to justify your prices um if you're charging you know 1500 to 2500 dollars if you're going to go after those low ticket niches you know the max you could probably charge is 1500 dollars, and that's on a good um a good one right most most people are going to be charging you know 500 bucks and stuff 700 600 bucks and stuff uh, below a thousand dollars and that's just not really worth it anymore you know what i mean it's gonna you're gonna be working more than you're making so that's it doesn't make sense to me so um i'm not saying it's wrong you could definitely get started there but just for me um what i teach is i teach to go after affluent niches right now obviously not everybody has um uh, if they're starting out not everyone has 
a, a niche that they can just start getting new clients in, right? So maybe you're already in the niche, but you want to be able to sign more clients and you haven't been able to get any clients or get results for your current niche and stuff like that. Um, that might come down to your skill sets. It's really, I'll get into that later actually, but let's go back to um, starting. If you're just starting out your agency, you need to start off with a niche. Um, you don't need to pick a niche um, in the beginning, right? So obviously you want to go after affluent niches. That that would be ideal. But what I recommend is going for a niche where you can get access to right away, right? So um, for example, if a friend or a family or maybe they know someone that owns a business, I would start there, right? Start with your your um, your inner circle, right? To to really get the ball rolling. Um, that way you don't have to start cold calling and sending thousands of cold emails and doing any other outreach methods that you that would take a lot a lot of time to be able to sign a new client and be able to convince somebody to um, trust you and give you a, a shot at running ads, right? Um, so that's 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 gonna be like the longer route. Um, what I recommend, guys, is just going, just starting with whatever you can get first. Honestly, if you're just starting off with the agency, if a friend owns a business, or maybe your mom, your pops, your or a family member owns a business, you know, just offer to run um, ads for free, um, a free trial or something like that, right? Um, in exchange for a a, um, a testimonial, preferably a video testimonial. Now, what this is going to do for you uh, are two things. Yes, you are offering it for free, um, and that's what I did at the beginning. Now, you, you don't have to do that. You could charge a minimum 200 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever it is that you want to charge, feel comfortable charging or what you can get out of your work. Um, but like I said, when I first started my agency, I had no sales skills and stuff like that, so I just offered it for free, and I... Um, got two things out of it, right? Number one, you're gonna get a video testimony because um, before, prior to running ads for um, this potential client, um, you're gonna say, you know, hey, you know, I'm tr I'm an agency owners, I'm looking to grow my portfolio, and you know, I would like to offer my services to you for free for two weeks in exchange for a video testimonial, um, you know, that I got you great results and I did what I said I was gonna do for you, right? So that's number one. You're gonna be able to use that video testimonial to close um, your future clients, right? So it makes things easier um, down the road. You're gonna have something to show, some type of proof, someone to vouch for you, and it's gonna be easier to close clients. Um, prospects are going to be more willing to listen to you and see what you have to offer um, compared to you having nothing, ha have nothing to share, right? And then the second thing is you're gonna get case studies, right? Not only are you you know, getting a video testimony, but now you're gonna have experience under your belt. You're gonna be more confident because you now know how to set things up, you know how to run things. Um, and then uh, assuming that you got great results because you know what you're doing, you also now have case studies to share with future prospects. So now you can tell your prospects, hey, we did, um, we got X results for the same um, client that is exactly like yours, right? So for example, if he's a chiropractor, so we generated, you know, 10 new patients for this chiropractor over here uh, by using the, these systems that I've set up for him. I can set up these same exact systems for you and get you the same exact results. And you can have proof and stuff like that to show um, this new prospect. And now you have their attention. They're more willing and likely to listen to what you have to offer. And um, chances are you're gonna be able to close them a lot easier, right? So start there, guys. Start with whatever niche um, you know you can go after. Um, you know, maybe it's your friend, your cousin, your family. Start there, guys. Whatever that goes first. Um, whatever you can get your hands on first, just to get the ball rolling, get some experience, um, get, get some confidence under uh, under your belt. Then start there, right? You don't have to say, "All right, I'm gonna go after the pet grooming business. I'm gonna go after this niche only," right? Just go after what you can get first. <clears throat> now. Now, obviously, since you're a beginner, you know you may or may not get good results, right? There's always that possibility of not getting good results, right? Um, and that's okay. That's okay if you're a beginner, as long as you di you did your due diligence, you know what you did, um, you learn, you you know what you're doing. You know, you took some a free Facebook course or a free Google course or something like that. You know how to do that stuff. Whatever it is that you're offering, as long as you come through on that, then it's okay. I'm not saying that you should go and purposely, you know 
offer your services and have no idea what you're doing and then end up getting terrible results you don't want to start there guys start with a strong foundation at least have the skills you know you don't have to be the expert at least know what you're doing be familiar and then set that up for your client right maybe you're offering website design or or website building or something simple like that right you could do that and then upsell them on other things but that's what i'm saying guys is have a skill that you guys can offer don't just go in blindly and figure it out as you go okay so you may or may not um, get results for your niche and it's totally okay if let's just say this niche was too hard you couldn't figure it out you don't know why it went wrong or why it went south you don't know how to improve it then just move on to the next niche guys because that was me I started with pet grooming it didn't work out for me and then I moved over to another niche and you know I ran ads for this niche and um, it didn't do so well um, you know when I first started my agency I did, it didn't do well I, just like everybody else um, that doesn't know what they're doing. Now, I did try my best, right? I did run ads and, you know, I did everything I could to try to get this client results. It was a paying client. And, you know, at the end of the month, it wasn't profitable for him. And so I just had to move on. It is what it is, guys. But now I feel more comfortable. I know I'm more familiar with it. I know why, um, you know, the ad didn't perform well. I learned from it, right? So next time around, I know exactly what needs to be done to get better results, right? So, it's a learn as you go. You're not gonna get it perfect the first time, guys. Um, and that's just that's just entrepreneurship, right? Your journey isn't gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be one happy straight line. It's gonna be a lot of curves. Uh, it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster, physical roller coaster, mental roller coaster, and you're gonna be all over your journey. But as long as you you keep trying and you keep figuring it out and you keep improving um, on the things that improving things, right? Um, so if you don't get something right, just learn from it. And that's how you uh, consistently, slowly, uh, but surely move forward. And then you can just keep doing that until you find a niche that works best for you, right? So that's, um, start there. Also, you could pick a niche where you're, you know, you, maybe you have most, a, a lot of knowledge about. So maybe you are, um, you know, you worked in a specific field for a long time. You have a lot of knowledge about it. Um, you know the terminology, what language they speak and stuff, what their ideal clients are, what the ideal clients want, needs, desires are. Then you can also go there, right? So that's another niche that you can pick from. You don't have to just, you know, pick the most, um, you know, affluent niche, the niche that pays the most, the most niche that's the most popular or whatever it is. It's it's the it's it's the low low key uh, niches that is gonna make you the money, right? So, what the saying goes is that the riches are in the niches, right? So as soon as you find your um your your niche, which may take some time, but as soon as you figure that out, the rich is in the niche. You're going to um double down on that. You're gonna be an expert with that niche, and that's where all that money comes from. With my agency, we only really go after one type of niche one type of client because we know we can replicate the same um, successful results for all of our clients that we bring in we know that every time we bring on a new client not only is this client gonna stay with us for a long time but we're also going to keep him happy because we're gonna be bringing uh, him our client amazing results all right so that's how you're pick that's how you're gonna pick your niche if you don't want know what niche if you don't know what niche to pick for your agency um, but let's say you are an agency owner and you know maybe you have one to two clients um, inside this niche and you know you're thinking about going to a different niche because this niche is hard uh, it's hard to get new clients um, and really guys it's the rich is in the niche if you if you figure out how to be an expert in that field in that niche then that's where the money is going to follow, right? So if you keep picking a new niche, you're just going to have to keep um, doing research from the get-go all over again. You need to do um, niche research or client research, right? You need to know what their what their customers want, you know, what their clients want, what have they dealt with before, um, you know, their pain points and stuff like that. You have to figure all that out all over again, and it's kind of a hassle, um, but. If you're already seeing a little bit of results from one niche, just try your best to you know improve whatever systems that you're doing. So whether it's not getting great results, it's um, that's probably like the main reason. Um, if you're not signing on new clients, figure out why you're not signing on new clients. Set up automated systems um, that I use for my own agency. That's how in the webinar training. The link's in the description. Um, so you know, set up systems and figure out a way to improve what you already have, right? And that's really the key to that, right? So when I first started with my niche um, that I still have today, obviously it wasn't all 
um, it wasn't bread and butter in the beginning, right? There was still a lot of fig- there's a lot of figuring out process. It's a tough. My niche is super tough, super competitive, and it, it wasn't easy at the beginning, right? But I kept on trying to figure it out, um, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't, um, and then eventually, you know, you start to find systems and methods and strategies that just works for your niche, right? This is exactly the process um, that we need to do in order to get amazing results for this niche, and that's exactly what I did for my agency, and that's how I've been able to build my agency to six figures um, within 12 months, actually, of, of starting my agency. Um, and I pretty much documented most of my agency journey here on my channel. So you can feel free to go through my channel and check out all the videos. Um, I documented my, most of my journey here. And so, guys, that's really how you start a digital marketing agency um, and picking a niche for your digital marketing agency. So if you have any other questions, concerns, put the questions in the comment section. I always try to get back to everybody and answer it. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't already subscribed, if you want to have a successful digital marketing agency and great, get great quality content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give it a big thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful. And um, yeah, I got the webinar training, fa- private Facebook group if you want to connect with me and other digital marketers. All those links are in the description below. My name is Jordan Lee, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.